Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we are showcasing the 10 best side quests in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Whether it's because they feature great characterization, earn you an awesome reward, or are just plain fun, these are the best side adventures to track down in Tears of the Kingdom. However, there are plenty of others we had to leave off the list, so be sure to head to the comments and let us know what your favorite side quest was. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. The Dive Ceremonies Some armor sets can be a bit of a pain to unlock, but the glide armor is not one of them. Within the Sky Islands, Link can find three tests that task him with diving through groups of light rings from an incredible height. One is at the Courage Island of Central Hyrule's Sky, one at Bravery Island of the North Hyrule Sky Archipelago, and one at Valor Island of the South Laneru Sky Archipelago. The diving mechanics of Tears are always a blast, so these ceremonies are a joy to conquer. More importantly, the glide armor you earn makes maneuvering while diving smoother, and therefore more fun than it already was. Plus, wearing a twice upgraded full set negates all fall damage, which is just too useful in a game where you're constantly hurling towards the ground. <laughs> Serenading the Great Fairies In Breath of the Wild, you unlocked access to each Great Fairy by paying increasingly larger sums of rupees, which was actually pretty lame. Comparatively, accessing them in tears is much more enjoyable. Each of the four Great Fairies wants to hear a specific instrument, which requires Link to track down members of the Hylian Band, the Stable Trotters. Mastro and Violin are found at the Woodland Stable, but the Conductor will tell you locations for the other three. Side quests to get them to rejoin aren't too taxing, and it's great seeing each instrument added to the performances for each fairy. It's also delightful hearing them play Epona's song every time you visit a stable. But the undeniable best perk of doing this is being able to upgrade your armor to the max. Mm -hmm. Misko's treasure, the Fierce Deity. <laughs> Many armor sets in Tears of the Kingdom pay homage to past versions of Link. Most of them are found in chests in the depths, with their locations being revealed by maps found on Sky Islands. The Fierce Deity armor, on the other hand, gets its own side quest in the form of a scavenger hunt. After completing Misko's Cave of Chests, a message in a bottle tells you to head to the bedchamber of Akala's red-crowned citadel, the skull's left eye, and an old stump in Hyrule Field. The mystery of the exact locations and what you'll find there makes things a bit more fun, but the armor also grants you an attack boost and can earn you the Fierce Deity Sword, one of the strongest two-handed weapons in the game. Plus, Link just looks so cool. Team CC or Team Reed. <laughs> While the name of this quest implies a choice, the linear outcome is still delightful, as is anything that has to do with the cozy Hateno village. When Link first arrives, there will be obvious strain between the traditional Mayor Reed and the flamboyant fashion designer CC. This strife will open up several smaller quests as both think they're the best fit to run the town. While finding the eight Reed supporters is a bit tedious, the other portions all deal with the two competitors growing to better understand one another. Reed could do with a little innovation, while CC must admit the town's strong foundation in farming. The outcome where they agree to co-lead is pretty wholesome. Hmm. Infiltrating the Yiga Clan. Ooh. While you do have to track down their armor set to make it inside, it is more than worth doing so to explore the Yiga clan hideout. Instead of having to stealth your way through like in the first game, you can roam freely here. The silly henchmen have some of the most humorous dialogue in the game, 
One here even tells you some members dress up as trees to ambush Link. There are also great rewards, including a shrine and custom deadly vehicle designs you can purchase. More importantly, though, is gaining access to the clan's combat training. Within a set time, defeating three enemies earns new paraglider fabric, six gets you the hands-free earthquake attack, and nine gets you the lightning helm, granting immunity to electric damage. What? Investigate the Typhlo Ruins. <laughs> doesn't love a good riddle? Well, how about four? In Breath of the Wild, we couldn't fully appreciate Typhlo Ruins as they were surrounded by mystical darkness. But in Tears, players could pour over and further theorize about its Zonai Ruins. Not only does the location have lore significance, but it holds a riddle for each of the four main sages. Each brain teaser corresponds to some of the surrounding statues, and uses a specific sage ability around them. These riddles add a bit of fun and a layer of interactivity to a place we already wanted to investigate. Completing them also gets you several valuable gems, and the Dusk Claymore, which on top of being a cool Twilight Princess nod, is pretty dang powerful. The Mysterious Eighth. Ah. One of the biggest mysteries in Breath of the Wild concerned the seven heroines of Gerudo history. Players learned of a secret eighth, though the nature of their existence was a big mystery until tears. Inside the Gerudo town shelter, Link can meet the historian Rotana. After completing one quest for her, he'll need to track down seven orbs. Some are lying around town, while others take a bit more effort. But with each piece of the puzzle, our desire to uncover the mystery grew. Turns out, the eighth heroine was actually a hero, who helped aid the seven long ago but wasn't allowed the spoils of victory due to being male. You can help yourself to the bounty left to honor him, which includes Gerudo weapons, gems, and 300 rupees. Ah. <coughs> oh. Madison's Independence. Hmm. <sighs> The most fulfilling side quest in Breath of the Wild saw Link help build an entire community with Hudson. The construction extraordinaire returns in tears, still married to the Gerudo Ronson, and the two now have a daughter named Madison. Sadly, it's Gerudo tradition for children of a certain age to leave their homes and venture to the desert. During the quest, you'll help Madison say goodbye to her home in her own way, as well as help Hudson say goodbye by building a hot air balloon for her to travel in. The resulting scene is touching to say the least. Afterwards, you'll be able to build your own home on a cliff overlooking Terrytown, but it's the emotional gratification that makes this one special. The Lomai Labyrinths. Just like in Breath of the Wild, the Lomai Labyrinths are the most entertaining shrine quests you can find in Tears. At the three gloom-covered labyrinths on the surface, Link must follow a trail of pine cones left by a researcher to make it to the center. Doing so earns access to a corresponding labyrinth in the sky. These are where the true fun begins. None of them have a floor, but feature low gravity so Link can paraglide through the maze. After activating all of their hidden terminals, Link can then dive from the sky all the way to the depths, where a Flux Construct 3 awaits with a piece of the Evil Spirit armor. Every single aspect of these is so much fun, we wish there were 10 more. Potential Princess Sightings While the Great Fairy quests branch out of this one, there is so much else to report on for the Lucky Clover Gazette. In the Hebra region, Link can sign on as a reporter for the paper and track down news stories about Zelda at every stable. Granted, some are better than others. Our personal favorites involved exposing a fake psychic cuckoo and clearing a cave of monsters without any gear or weapons. Regardless of which ones you prefer, this quest does a lot to further build up the world as well as add some subtle characterization for the princess. 
Plus, you get all kinds of fantastic rewards as you go, including boatloads of money, a rare new horse, and the froggy armor set, which grants you slip resistance when climbing wet surfaces. Huh. Check out these other great clips from Mojo Plays, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos.